up guys, King Racer here. I'm back with a brand new diecast review video. And today we're gonna take a look at the diecast promotion Freightliner Cascadia with the Corvette Special Edition trailer. This truck has a special paint skin for the Corvette. I decided to pick this uh, Auto World 164 scale C8 Corvette to go with. And this is a beautiful 164 scale replica of this American sports car. Here's the artwork on Arta World. And this one's limited to 13,904 copies for the world. So if you want a sample to go with your DCP truck, go ahead and pick one up before they are gone. So now for the truck, this is the 2019 Freightliner Cascadia, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So let's Take a look at the cab first, like we always do. This one, obviously, big Chevrolet Corvette emblem on the top of the sleeper. Nice black deflector on the top of the uh, windshield. Side mirrors, black painted windshield wipers. Freightliner logo on the front grille, which is also painted black. And inserts lights for the headlights. Now this truck here has extra mirrors you can put on the front. They are called loops in the domain. You can choose to install them or not. I personally didn't install them yet. They are quite fragile, so be careful if you choose to put them on. But the truck will look much nicer after you put them on. Can guarantee you did that. So this truck also has some fog lights. These are just tampo painted on the front of the black uh, glossy bumper. For a side, let's open up the hood. And this one reveal a Mercedes engine, which is pretty cool. This one's painted silver with some red accent on the top. So there we go. And of course, you have your traditional steerable three positional axle in the front of all DCP trucks. So on the side, not much to say. Otherwise, it's pretty modern. Uh, it's all black, got some uh, windows here for the sleeper. This one looks to have a silver interior. You can also see a computer on the passenger side, I believe, which is cool. This one has uh, silver painted grab bars, chrome steps, and a yellow turn single. And you can also see the yellow inserts for the turn single in the front of the nose of the truck. On this one you cannot see the uh, gas tank because they are covered with these nice black skirts. They are part of the base of the truck. Uh, excuse me, the cab. And this one here also have those fancy uh, deflectors for the wheels on the back. Probably to prevent uh, the truck from throwing rocks at cars when driving on the highways or on the country roads. This one also have black painted hot caps for the uh, rear wheels. Now for the back of the truck, of course you have your rear cool hoses for your brakes and for your lights. You got a single exhaust tax in chrome, which is cool. Some deflectors painted on the top of the cab in silver. Uh, also what you have here, we have a grab bar, I believe. Or maybe it's just a support for the uh, exhaust tax. The deck plate chrome here. A movable fifth wheel. This one is in uh, glossy black. And of course you have painted reflectors for the mud flaps and the painted uh, tail lights and uh, review, uh, reverse light. Excuse me. <laughs> So on the other side of the truck is pretty much the same. Same windows, same paint colors. So not much to say others. And looks like mine just lost a chrome gas tank. That's the first time I ever have a quality control with the DCP trucks. And I'm guessing it's just because it popped off of the uh, frame here. So we'll see if I can later put him back at the end of the video. But otherwise, this truck does not have any quality control and 
diecast promotion in general have very very nice quality products now for the trailer this one is absolutely massive it's all metal pretty heavy let's see take a look at the front it does have a little logo here we'll see what it says what buys in I guess it's the name of the uh, company that manufactures those trailers and you know, of course you have your connectors for the hoses on the front on the sides you have a very nice C8 Corvette graphic in silver which is reflective also Chevrolet logo you have some uh, clear uh, yellow lights for the roof and for the skirts turn single here red and white deflectors on the side on the back you also have Corvette and Chevrolet you don't have any 50th anniversary logo however on this trailer which is strange considering this is what this trailer is supposed to do and on the back you also have black rims just like on the uh, tractor cab of the truck the back here big Corvette logo it's pretty much the same as you want you will see on the top of the sleeper of the truck you got your clearance roof lights brake lights other deflectors the logo of the company of the trailer that we saw in the front and a nice black bumper Let's see what color interior this trailer has because of obviously it has opening doors. Let's see if I can open them up. Come on. I don't want to open, looks like. And if I go this way. Ah, bingo! This one silver silver sides and looks like a beige floor pretty cool I think this quite assimilates wood there we go other side same deal as the uh, driver side excuse me and the mud flaps are of course black the frame is black also Put the truck back of this trailer, and that's it. And of course, you have <laughs> this loose part that's like gonna need to be put back on the truck. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in another stop motion or diecast review video. See you soon.